Hey people, I'm Jenny Matherell and I'm a fourth generation witch. Today I want to do a spell on happiness. This is instant joy for those times when you really need it. And so this is my Ginny's instant ritual for happiness. I love this spell. I've been using it loads recently, especially for my clients when they've come to me on a session and they're like, oh, I'm really depressed, I can't take the world. And I'm like, well, okay, you need to improve your mood before you can then start on, you know, working on other aspects of the witchcraft session that we're in. And so it doesn't take very long. It's very quick. This is something that baby witches can do as well as really advanced witches. And I've never known it to fail. Maybe because I'm doing it and I know what I'm doing, but I'm hoping that it's not very difficult and that you you all can do it too. So the first thing we need to do is to work out if you are happy enough at the moment. I would say that you should measure your happiness on a scale of 1 to 10. And just make a note, you know, how happy am I feeling? 10 being extraordinarily happy and 1 being I don't really want to live anymore. And place yourself on that scale. So I would say at the moment, I mean, I'm pretty much quite happy today, so I'm probably about an eight, which is normal happiness levels. I'd say seven or eight, you don't need to do this spell. However, anything below that, yes, you do, and it's really worth it. So let's say that you've looked at yourself on a scale of one to 10 and you're at happiness level four, so not particularly good. We need to get you to a seven or eight. That is the levels that I really want you to be at. You don't need to be a nine or a 10 because that's euphoria. That's for sort of special occasions. You know, you find out you're pregnant, you pass that driving test finally, or whatever it is that you've been really striving for and really hope for. You'll all know those euphoric moments. You don't want those on an everyday level. Everyday level, about, I mean, six will do. Six to eight, shall we say. Let's go for that. And that's what I want you to be at. Now, before you do this spell, it is important to try and become happy without using magic, only because magic is very precious and I don't want you to use this spell too much. So there are three things that you should try first of all. The first thing to do is to go and get a hug from your loved one. You know, the loved one's hugs give you support, prana, magical energy and everything that you need to raise your mood. And it is the easiest and the quickest way to do so. However, you might not actually be in a position to get a hug or even receive a hug from any of your loved ones. So the second thing to look at is to go and hug your pets. This is just as good almost. Um, they have animal energy as opposed to human energy, so it's not quite so uplifting. But pets do provide such a wonderful way to elevate your happiness. And then finally, the third thing you should try is to go outside. The sun, the moon, the sky, the earth, the stars, the trees, the plants, the flora, the fauna, all of it is made in order to lift you, to help you grow magically, emotionally, spiritually. So a little bit of nature will go a long, long way. However, of course, of course, there's all sorts of times when you can't do any of these things. And it's very difficult if you're feeling low to get to that level where you can. And so this spell is for when you really need it. Now, I'm going to caveat the spell. It's not going to last all day. It's only going to last a few hours, depending on whoever's casting it. However, it is brilliant. So have a go. The ingredients list are not long. It depends on the person casting it. So for I, for example, don't use anything. However, for a baby witch, you will need the extra support. You don't need all of these elements, but you'll need most of them. The one thing you will need to do is to cast the circle. And so that's what we're going to do first. The circle you're going to cast is very specific and it's this. I'll put the words on screen. I cast this circle for my greatest and highest good. That is the perfect circle to cast whenever you don't really know what the end result is going to be because you will get the best for yourself. So once you've cast your circle, go into your circle and this is where you're going to use some elements. And one of the elements that I always ask people to take with them into their circles is some crystals if they feel that they are bonding with those crystals. Crystals that are particularly good for happiness are things like citrine, which I have here, or clear quartz, which I have here, both of which will elevate your mood. With these crystals, just simply take them with you. You can put them in your pocket, 
You need to get them close to your skin though. So you could just, you know, hold them in one of your hands because you only need one hand. I do like the element of crystals because it does give you a magnification to that particular energy that we're looking for. Another element that you can take with you into the circle is some herbs. Now, I particularly, and as anybody who watches these videos know, I love a rose. So I've got some rose petals here and I'm going to sprinkle these around my circle. Rose is a particularly good for enhancing your mood, as are lavender and chamomile, both of which I think are fairly easy to come by. You can just buy one of those chamomile tea bags and sprinkle that around the place or even just drink the tea as you're performing forming the spell. But herbs really do lend another layer into your spell. Now the third thing that we're going to use is a candle. When you consider the word happiness, think about what colour you think that is. And most people, but not everybody, think of it as a, a sort of yellow or bright colours. And so I want you to take a candle of that colour. So I've got a yellow one here. Now these three ingredients don't necessarily need to be used. You can use all of them or none of them, depending on how you feel. I mean, I am an adept at this spell, so I use none of them, but however, they all add an extra layer to your happiness. So I would recommend for first time that you use every single one. You know, the, the crystals that you're gonna use, you might use rose quartz, for example, and the herbs that you might use, you might use, I don't know, bay leaf, whatever you feel that you need to bring. What Whatever plant you associate with happiness will be the one that you should use and whatever crystal you associate with happiness will be the one that you should use. And lastly, we're going to need a bowl. Now I've got a traditional Venusian copper bowl here. Um, it doesn't need to, it can be any old bowl. It could be a little kitchen bowl, it could be a glass bowl, a plastic bowl, it doesn't matter. I like copper bowls because they've got great conductivity and this is where the magic's going to be. It will enhance it and help it. So those are your ingredients, a candle, a crystal of choice, a plant of choice, should you wish for those. And most definitely, Oh. Before we start the spell, you're going to need to do a tiny bit of homework. And this is, what colour do you associate laughter with? If you were to think that laughter was a colour or assign laughter a colour, what colour would it be? Now, I think of laughter as yellow. So I've got a yellow candle. You might think of laughter as green or red or blue. And you need, it's great for you to have a candle in that colour. If you don't have a candle in that colour, don't worry, a white one will really do. It's not hugely significant, it just adds to the spell's energy. So it's not hugely necessary, but it's great to have if you've got it. So the very first thing you're going to do is to cast your circle. I cast the circle for my greatest and highest good. Then I want you to take your candle, light it and place it within the circle with you. I want you to take your crystals into the circle with you, whatever ones that you have. And I want you to scatter your herbs around if you've got them or drink them in a cup of tea. Either one will do, just bring them in to the circle with you. And then finally, we're gonna take our bowl. And this is where you're going to use your energy. The color that you have decided that laughter, and it must be laughter, because people's happiness definitions are different. Some have like peacefulness, some have this. We need laughter because it's a massive mood lifter. It's really strong energy. And that's why we're looking at laughter. So I want you to visualize that the bowl is filled with, the, with laughter and that laughter is a color, whatever the color is. So my bowl is going to be filled with a yellow matter, yellow energy. I've already filled up my bowl so I can feel the energy in it. So my energy is feeling, it's feeling bouncy, it's feeling um, uh, warm and vibrant. It doesn't, it doesn't tingle, no, it feels like, oh, come and join. It feels very much a part of a uh, loving, it's, it's got a wonderful energy into it. That's why, oh God, that's going to make me laugh now. Anyway, fill up your bowl. And when you think you've filled it up enough with this wonderful visualisation of your yellow energy with your, with your coloured energy and how it feels, does it feel squashy or bouncy? I want you to feel it. I want you to take your bowl and I want you to pour it over your head. 
You can feel the energy coming. I've got, I've got to stop laughing now because it's actually working. Okay, right. <laughs> um, so this is why it's such a mood booster because I'm showing you a really, really um, strong spell. I'm going to have to take a break. I have to take a break. I've got to calm down. Right, I've calmed down. I've calmed down. Pour it over your head. <laughs> And then you can measure your one to ten scale. I'm definitely at a sort of eight and a half at the moment, if not nine, on how happy you feel. Gosh, my 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 cheeks are hurting because I'm smiling so much. Um, I, I can't, this fun is magnificent, can I say? It's wonderful. Please do it. Otherwise, don't forget my Patreon. Come and join Patreon, and I can do this for you in person. You'll love it. I promise. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll get round to answering them because I know that you will. F finally, don't forget, oh, my cheeks, they hurt so much. Finally, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can carry on making these videos. Although I might just do this video again and again and again. I haven't had so much fun making a video in years. And I'll see you in a few days. <laughs> oh. <laughs>